pivot tables to put it in simple words pivot tables are the most convenient way of creating a quick summary out of your data without even breaking a sweat where in database engines and other programming languages you would have to write complex codes to create summary in pivot tables we just have to drag and drop few fields to create interactive reports let's see how it's done it's not a game it's a red state Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats where we talk about data analysis techniques business intelligence platforms and much much more so let's go hey everyone so for today the data that we have uh, contains the details about medals won by each country in the Tokyo Olympics and as usual you will find the links to the data in the description in case you want to follow along now before we begin the topic just a quick disclaimer This topic will be covered keeping in mind those people who are new to Excel pivot tables or those who would like to refresh their skills on pivot tables for more advanced users we have other con- content which you can consume and also we are planning to cover advanced topics like power pivots so stay tuned for more okay now since that's out of the way let's begin as you see i have a sheet here with the data already inserted so before we create the pivot there are a couple of things that you know you need to make sure first of all there should not be any blank columns in between so let's say if there is a blank column like this then this might create a problem right this will pivot table will not accept the entire data like this it needs to have the columns all columns filled in properly okay and also in case you have any blank rows in between it's better to remove those rows um else later on you would have to adjust the pivot range or else select the entire table before creating the pivot before you could continue right so just keep these things in mind now once you have done those sanity checks within your within your data all you have to do to create a pivot table is select anywhere on the data okay and now go to insert tab and there's an option called pivot table click here and you can select this option which says from table slash range okay you can also choose to have a data from an external data source but because our data is inside this sheet only we don't need this option now in case your data was in a sql server or maybe a different excel workbook then this might be something that you would like to use but Uh, for now this one is fine so you can either click this or the keyboard shortcut for creating a pivot table is alt d p okay now once you uh, once you click that uh, you know you'll get this prompt and within this prompt you can uh, choose what to do so i can just click on next here it's asking for the range so remember Uh, in the beginning i told you if you have any blank rows then this might create a problem so this is where that range is selected so if you have any blank rows in between it will select the range up to that row right so in case you have any blank rows remove that or else select the range manually from here so in case you have data till 100 and row number 106 just change this uh, value from 94 to 106 okay for now the range is correct and next and now it's asking whether you want to create it in a new worksheet or in existing worksheet so just for simplicity sake um, i need it in a new worksheet i don't want to create any pivot on this existing sheet where we have the raw data okay just to keep it clean so i'm just choosing next worksheet and finish now once i click on finish it will automatically create a, a pivot table for you but one more shortcut i that i i frequently use i do not go all these steps to create a pivot is simply click on alt d p and f okay when i click that instantly it creates a pivot into a new sheet okay and this is what i frequently use to save my time now once it is created you will you know see this blank structure of a pivot table okay where nothing is there in terms of fields and on the right hand side we have couple of things okay now before moving forward i would like to quickly explain what all of these means 
first one is the left side one as i said this is a blank pivot table okay this is where our fields and columns and every value will be shown once we start inserting our values into the pivot table on the right hand side this is called the pivot table field section okay and the first thing that you see is this setting icon okay this is to set your layout of the entire field list so right now as you see i have a uh, couple of uh, sections at the bottom if these sections are not visible for you uh, what you can do is you can just select this option and change the layout of this section okay so i'm going to select the second one so now it's a bit more visible right i'm going to revert back to my original default position okay second section is for search so in case you want to search any column that you have in your data which is there in a pivot data source uh, you can search it from here okay uh, let's say i want to search rank right and it started searching for that thing and the third thing is obviously you might have guessed it by now these are simply the column names that you have in your uh, data that you provided to the pivot table okay it contains all the data all the columns within your data then comes the sections which is the most important one which defines your pivot table itself last piece of the puzzle of this entire field is this defer layout update okay what this option does is as of now as a default when i drag something to this section uh, this value that i drag or the rows that i drag or the column that i drag will instantly get reflected onto my pivot table okay but when you check mark on this deferred layout it stops that from happening okay so even if i so let me just select something here and drag anything for now and don't worry i'm going to explain what each and every fields or section means when it comes when it comes to pivot table structuring right but just to explain this concept i'm just showing it to you so i dragged something but nothing happened here right or uh, let me just remove this and add something here right again i added something but nothing happened in the pivot that's because i've checked mark this deferred layout it tells excel not to update anything on the pivot table unless i click on this update button so moment i click on update button it will give me uh, i updated value here in the pivot table as you see in the left right but for now i'm just going to remove it back and uncheck this deferred layout because that's not what i want okay so let me just remove this and after unchecking if i drag something it will get reflected instantly as you see here right now you understood the basic layout of the entire pivot table and its fields let's come to each section with an example okay now let's say say i want to see the list of unique country names in my pivot table each country should be listed in one row okay for that to happen all i have to do is just drag this country column into this row section okay as you see it has given me the unique list of countries in each row now let's let's just look at another scenario now in this scenario what i would need is i would need the total number of medals won by each country against the name of country in the pivot table so i want to see how many medals just did argentina won or austria won uh, in this column okay so what you need to do is go back to your field list again uh, scroll down at the bottom and i'll you'll see a column called total so this is where the data if you remember is where our total number of medals which are won by each country are stored okay so what you need to do is just click on this total and drag it into the total section okay and this will automatically create a column for you with say sum of total and it will have sum of total medals won by each country now since in this data each country has only one row item so that's why you know this might not make that much sense but let's say i had two row items for united states okay so in this case just right click and i'm going to refresh my pivot once more so this is how you refresh your data so i have updated my data set 
and I'm going to right click and refresh or else you can just go to your pivot table at the top and click on this refresh button. Come down to USA. You'll see the total has changed. It's now 226. Earlier it was 113, right? So in these kind of scenarios where you have multiple row items, that's where pivot table comes in as a boon because you don't have to manually do your summarization or you don't have to manually do your aggregation, right? It will automatically do, do, do it for you and create a summary out of it. Okay. Now, now that you have added something to your value section and also the row section, one thing that I want to highlight is at this point of time, you can sort your data set in any manner you want. Let's say I want to sort my values in a way that it is in ascending order. Okay. So just right click on this column here and go to sort and largest to smallest or smallest to largest, whatever you want to do. So if, in case you want to do it in ascending order, just click on smallest to largest. Okay. Uh, similarly for the row section, again, you can right click sort and click on A to Z. Okay. Let's you come back to the value section again. Now in the value section, right now it's, it's, it's summing up our entire values, right? Now let's say I want to change my aggregation. How will you do that? So in case we want to see the count of rows instead of the sum of metals, right? What will you do? All you have to do is just go to this value section here, click on this small arrow icon. And once you click there, you'll see an option called value field setting, click there. And instead of this sum, just select count. Okay. So it will show you the count of, as you see here, it will show you the count of rows, which are there. And again, I'm going to go down to the United States because we had two row items. It's showing us two. Okay. All right, perfect. You might have created a small summary out of your data, but then presentation is also very important. So you would always want to, you know, format your numbers in a way that it makes sense. So like for example, dollar formatting or formatting it in numbers with decimals or something like that, right? In order to do that, what you have to do is again, go back to your value section, click on value field setting. There's a small button here, which says number format. And within this, you can choose your format. Let's say I have, I wanted uh, all numbers to have two decimal places. So just click here, right? We have two decimal places by default. I also want uh, it to be thousand separated. So just click on this checkbox and press OK. Okay. So it will be done for you. Now, because my values do not have anything more than, you know, a single digit or a double digit, uh, we don't see that comma separated or thousand separated, but it is there. Trust me. Okay. Now, once that is done, let me just revert it back to the way it was by default, which is sum. Okay. Now, right now, this entire thing, uh, you know, by default, when you create a pivot, it gives you, when you insert something into the value section, it gives you an aggregated number either as a sum or a count. However, there are options where you can add calculations to the fields in the value section by adding certain categories to your value. Okay. Like for example, what if you want to see the percentage of this value against the grand total? So we want to see how much percentage does the total medal won by urgent Argentina in comparison to the total number of medal ones. Okay. So in order to do that, just click on this again, the arrow key, go to value field setting, and you will see a small button here, which says show values as right. And from this click on this drop down and click on percentage of grand total. Now there are other options as well. I'll just quickly scroll through uh, percentage of column total percentage of row total, right? These things comes in when you have uh, additional rows added to your pivot table. We will cover that in a later session, right? But for now, you know, I'm just going to choose this percentage of grand total. Okay and press OK. If you see Argentina is 0.25% of the entire count of metal that we have and the total is 100% obviously. United States stands as 18.94%. Okay, so this gives you a quick summary of uh, how things are right. Now, let's look at another scenario wherein 
instead of my country names in call uh, in rows like this i want my country name in columns okay so what you need to do is just drag this country into this column section okay so automatically as you see all the countries are now in my columns now even if i drag something new into my value section like this what it will do is it will keep the countries in their columns like we have asked it to but then add a new column with that new value added to it right now it's showing me total number of medals in terms of percentage of grand total as well as the rank of that particular country side by side okay at this point of time i want to quickly show you one more thing let me just change the layout again uh, from this setting icon at the top to a layout like this okay as you see in this column section although we have dragged country column into it we have another column which is values that's because we have some values which are there in the value section and it's depicting that and it's saying put the country at the top and whatever the value thing values are put it below the country column okay but i can also choose to have it above the country column like this so just click on that value uh, section here click on this value item here and drag it above the country now if you see country is at the bottom and now the summary has changed little bit how it's doing is now i have sum of total and sum of total for all the countries first right and once those are done i will have the second metric which was ranked by total and again uh, starting from the first country which was argentina it started again right now i can choose to drag this back to the row section the country columns of row section in terms of viewing i think this table makes much more sense right so we'll keep it like this only now i'm going to remove this sum of rank by total from here from the value section okay and i'm giving you another scenario okay in the new scenario what we have to do is in this data i want to see only those countries which are at rank 1 till 5 so by definition what i'm trying to say is we need to add a filter to this entire data okay so for adding a filter what you need to do is we're going to drag this rank by total field into the filter section of the pivot uh, fields okay and after dragging you'll see an additional row added to your pivot table uh, this is your filter section of your pivot table and from this filter section i'm going to click on this drop down Uh, since we need to add multiple we need to select multiple items uh, i'm going to select this multiple items checkbox deselect this all and click on this 1 2 3 4 and 5 because we want to see only countries with uh, within top 5 ranking right so i'm going to say okay and it's given me like this at this point of time i can also sort my data so sort and let's say largest to smallest and it's giving me the uh, countries at the top 5 uh, sorted based on sorted descending in terms of ranking okay one more quick thing before we end today's video once you've created a summary you can also extract data set out of it okay out of the final summary all you have to do is just double click anywhere on your pivot table where the values are so i'm going to just double click here and it has given me value in a separate sheet for just united states because the value that i clicked was for united states now if i click on this grand total now this is giving me the data set after we have applied all those filters so that's why you only see uh, seven row items not the entire data okay hope this was clear uh, now i will definitely continue this session to cover more topics because there are a lot of things to cover in pivot table and which cannot be covered in a single video so i'm going to cover all of those things in my future videos if you like this content stay tuned and please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell icon thank you so much keep watching